Towards the end of last year, the Nature's Little Recyclers crew were invited to do a lunchtime presentation at the Goose Island Brewery offices. Goose Island is one of our suppliers, providing spent grain from the brewing process to feed the worms, so we were happy to come and tell them about our vermiculture operation. As he said, my name's Ed, um, Ed Hubbard, and I'm the founder of Nature the Recyclers. And basically, Nature the Recyclers is a high-tech worm uh, factory, and we're utilizing it to, to basically convert waste materials into farm-grade fertilizer. But let, before I get started, people always ask me, how did you become a worm farmer? When I tell people I'm a worm farmer, they first go, seriously? And I go, yes, I am. How did you ever get started in that? And basically for me, my dad, uh, when I was younger, decided to say, it's time for you to earn your allowance, go out and find a job at 12 years old. We were talking and he said, well, I don't have a lot to do, I want to grow worms. I grew worms as a kid, I want to grow worms. I knew nothing about worms at the time. And I was like, are you crazy? Who's going to grow worms in the city of Chicago and buy them to sell the same? And then so I started talking to him and you know, he started growing test beds and then I, he started showing me, oh, I feed him nothing but trash. So I'm like, it costs us money to feed him and I was like, I don't feed him anything but trash. So we started, um, I started working with him and stuff. and. Then I realized that he might have been onto something because this is a big, this is a model for a company and for me personally. You never change things by fighting existing rea reality. To change something, build a new model that takes exist that makes the existing model obsolete. So I, so so worms eat trash, but we've known this for thousands of years. However, what I, we realized that nobody wants to compost their own trash. You want to live the luxury we have. And I love, I love my beer. I love my PlayStation. I love my clothes. I love my car. So we're not going to give anything up. So what I realized was, hey, if worms can really eat all this trash. Why don't we make a system to replace the landfill so no one has to change anything? Let's just start feeding the worms all our trash and create landfill. And this, so that's why we started this. So our current model is to make landfills obsolete and get everybody to start using our current system without having to change any habits or behavior within society. Hi, and we're back from our lunch with uh, Goose Island. And we had a lot of the yummy things to eat and they have so many compostable things. So we're going to take one, we're going to put it in our system whole. We're going to take another one, and we're just going to basically break it up. This plastic, it seems like plastic, but it's supposedly compostable. And you can see, just we're taking like, nice napkins, nice compostable place with a little lunch on it. And we're going to tear that up. We're going to continue doing that. And we're going to duplicate that. So we're going to do that. We're going to cover this with a nice piece of burlap. And uh, we'll see how it turns out here in just shortly. 